When it comes to dropshipping, one of the best things that you can do is niche down. This is on a different level. Now there's a few reasons for this. For one, it gives you the opportunity to be able to provide different types of bundles of relevant products. When somebody jumps onto your website to purchase a particular product in a particular niche or category, chances are if they see something else that I go along with it, then most likely they're gonna end up buying the two items together. When you have a niche dropshipping store, upselling becomes easier than ever. Whereas if you have a general store, upselling can get a little bit harder because you're gonna have a lot of irrelevant products together. So because of that, this video is gonna focus on the 20 best niches to dropship. Now, as I go through each one of these niches, I'm also gonna give you a few different products that are popular within that niche. We're not gonna to get too detailed with the different types of products because if we do, it's gonna take a long time to get through this video. But what we are gonna do is expand a little bit on each niche. So if you've been wanting to start your dropshipping business, but you're not sure exactly what niche to get into, then make sure you check out this video all the way through so you can finally make that decision and get started making some money. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. Now getting started with the first niche, this is one that is essentially a newcomer in the dropshipping world. And this is the print on demand niche. Now with print on demand, you have the option to customize tons of different products. These products can range in a variety of categories and can include things like t-shirts, baby onesies, crop tops, hoodies. You also have different accessories like phone cases, mugs, masks, sandals, tumblers, stuff for the house like rugs, flags, bed sheets, and a lot more. Now lately, print on demand has just been absolutely exploding in popularity, simply because people love the ability to customize their different types of products. It's customized, which I adore. Now, when it comes to print on demand, you can either customize your products and offer them as your own brand or your own designs, or you can even give the ability to your customers to customize their designs. So that way they can submit their artwork and then you submit to have those items printed. Now print on demand is its own world in itself. So if you wanna learn more about that, then you can check out this video right here. In it, I explain everything that you need to know on how you can get started and grow and scale your business. All right, before we continue on to number two, as always, we have a cheat sheet with all of the different links that I'm gonna be talking about in today's video and all of the different information that I'm gonna be presenting to you today. So in it, I'm gonna have all of the different niches, including all of the different products that I'm talking about. And if you want access to that, all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below the hashtag dropshipping. And let me know which one of these niches is your favorite. Which niche do you plan on dropshipping and which one of these products do you plan on importing into your store? Let me know down in the comments below. And once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll reply back with a link to the sheet. All right, let's go ahead and continue with number two. Now, up next on number two, we have this new niche that has recently started making some pretty big waves. Before, it used to be a pretty taboo subject or category overall, but now it's something that everyone talks about and really, it's the new norm. And that is CBD dropshipping. Oh, I love CBD. So I'm pretty sure you've seen it before, but now a lot of people are starting to get into the CBD business, but a lot of people are failing in it simply because they're not sure how to get started and they don't really know what suppliers to use to have some good quality products. So if you want more information on that and if you want to find some of the best suppliers to source your products from for the CBD niche, then just go ahead and check out the cheat sheet because on there, I'm also going to be referencing a video that has all of the different suppliers that you need to know about. Give us the CBD. Now, when it comes to CBD, this is an absolutely booming business. And in the last few years, it's been steadily growing. And as it starts to get more and more accepted throughout the United States and really throughout the entire world, the industry is just only gonna keep getting bigger. So the time to get into this is right now. You're still early. Now, some of the best products to dropship in this category are gonna include CBD flour, CBD capsules, tint cures, vaping oils, CBD for pets, CBD vapes, CBD edibles, and skincare and beauty products. Next up at number three, we have a niche that is ever expanding and it's never slowing down. The health and beauty care niche is as big as it's ever been and it's only getting bigger. Self-care is number one. Everyone is taking care of themselves because we're in the new age where people know that in order to be successful and in order to be able to take care of the people around you, you need to take care of yourself as well. It feels so nice and hydrating, which I love. Now, to give you a small idea on how much this niche is actually expanding, in 2024, the health and beauty niche is at about $200 trillion. That's absolutely insane. But by the year 2028, it's actually expected to go up to $225 trillion. So in a measly four years, it's expected to expand $25 trillion. What? Now, in the health and beauty care niche, some of the best products that you're gonna have access to to dropship are gonna include things like facial beauty rollers, makeup brush sets, 
anti-snoring mouthpieces, makeup brush cleaners, neck massagers, electronic teeth whiteners, the IPL laser removers, which I've seen those a lot around lately, especially on TikTok, a lash lifting kit, and a black hair remover. Now, as a quick pro tip, one huge opportunity that this niche brings is the ability to be able to upsell or to sell in bundles. When you offer almost any product in this niche, chances are people are gonna be purchasing it along with something else. So if you're able to bundle up different products together, like let's say different types of makeup brushes, then you have the ability to be able to increase your average order value in almost every single sale, simply because again, when people purchase one of these products, they're not purchasing just one, they're purchasing multiples. Next up, we have phone cases. Phone cases are one that every single year you have new products to be able to drop ship. Every single year, new phones come out, new models come out. Even if it's the same thing from last year, something's going to be just a little bit different, which is going to make the phone case from last year not compatible with the phone from this year. So when it comes to the phone case niche, you're always going to have products to drop ship. Each and every year, you're going to have new products to drop ship as well. Now, when it comes to the different types of phone cases, you have quite a bit to choose from. One of the most popular ones being the battery charger phone case. These are awesome because nowadays everyone's on TikTok, everyone's on Instagram, everyone's taking pictures. So people are always running out of batteries. So the battery charging phone case in particular is actually one of the best ones that you can start drop shipping. But aside from that, there's a few other options as well. Some of them including military grade phone cases, which just means they're super tough and it's going to be really hard for your phone to break when it falls. You have lightweight chalkproof phone cases as well. Extra slim phone cases, glitter phone cases, leather phone cases, phone cases with mirrors in them, wallet phone cases, and your traditional clear phone case. Next up at number five, we have the swimmer niche. Now swimmer is gonna be for specific times of the year, primarily for summer, because that's when everyone's gonna be going to the beach and going to the pool. Now, when it comes to the swimmer niche, this is actually something that really starts selling almost throughout the entire year. There's some places around the entire world or even just in the US where you kind of just have summer year round. Like let's say in South Florida, where I live, it's it's pretty much summer year round. You're going to have a couple weeks where it's actually kind of cold or where it might be a little bit breezy, but you can go to the beach the entire year. So while this is going to be a niche that is pretty consistent year round, it is going to have a few different spikes, primarily around May or June, which means that we want to start offering our products or stocking up our stores around January or February, because as we can tell through Google Trends, that's exactly where the rise starts. So the spike is going to start around January to February, and it's going to really peak in between May to June. And as we can see throughout the last five years, this is a pretty consistent trend. So it's safe to say that it's going to be the same thing this year and next year. Now, the good thing about the swimmer niche is that you can target literally anybody. You can target men, women, grandparents, kids, because at the end of the day, it's going to be the parents that purchase for the kids. So you really have the option to market your products to a huge demographic of people. That being said, not everyone's going to have the same taste. So that's why these following products are going to be the most popular ones this coming year. First up is going to be an animal print bikini. Number two, push-up bra bikini set. Number three is going to be a loose beach cover-up. Then you have tie-dye bikinis, men's swimwear or men's trunks, one-piece ruffle suits, team bride sets. So these are going to be really good for things like bachelorette parties, kids scuba swimsuits, and lace-up bikinis. Now at number six, we're actually going to target one gender in particular, and that's going to be men. So at number six, we have men's fashion. When it comes to men's fashion, you have kind of a limited amount of items that you can offer in terms of style, but you have a pretty big variety in each one of those different items. So let, let me just continue on a little bit. It's a little bit complicated because when it comes to fashion, guys are a little bit behind, I would say. Girls have a ton of different options while guys just have different variations in those smaller options. But overall, men's fashion is something that's trending year round with some of the major spikes being right before Father's Day and right before Christmas. Now with that, some of the best products that you can offer are gonna include slim fit trousers, cycling jersey sets, anti-wrinkle cotton shirts, all over printed beach shirts, solid color tank tops, corduroy shirts, cargo pants, and bucket hats. Now at number seven, we have the opposite end. So we have women's fashion in this case. And in this, you have quite the variety of different products to choose from, and you have a huge demographic to market them to. Everyone has different styles. So some of the best products in this case are gonna include leggings and sports bra yoga sets, crisscross ribbed halter tops, thin puffer jackets, wide leg solid color shorts, one shoulder crop top, light crop tops, satin light tank tops, 
and oversized drawstring trousers. Now, when it comes to the fashion industry, regardless if it's men's or women's fashion, you also have the option to upsell. Here, it's gonna be a lot easier to be able to upsell or cross-sell different types of products. So one example would be something like a jacket with a t-shirt, or maybe a pair of jeans with a matching shirt or a matching buttoned down shirt. Another niche that actually works really well with anything in the fashion industry is gonna be accessories. So if you can recommend any accessories to go with, let's say a particular top, chances are you can increase your average order value and start making a couple extra bucks. Now this next niche is actually one that's pretty high ticket and that's gonna be furniture and home decor. Now, not every single product in this niche is gonna be high ticket, but most of the furniture products or let's say things like rugs, they are pretty high ticket items. Now, when it comes to this niche, it's imperative that you choose the right supplier. You want to make sure that when it comes to these high ticket items, you have quality products. You don't wanna have things that break within a couple of weeks, simply because you cut corners and you went with a cheaper supplier. Now, a few of the different products that you can offer in this category are gonna include things like a round side table, floral rugs, artificial hanging plants, Nordic flower vases, LED candles, coffee tables, reclining massage chairs, shoe racks, and bookshelves. Next up at number nine, we have one of the biggest industries, period. And that's the jewelry and watch niche. When it comes to jewelry and watches, the reason it's so big is because you can literally give any one of these products for absolutely any reason. You don't even have to have a reason to give some of these sometimes. So let's say for Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas, Hanukkah, birthdays, celebrating things like engagements or graduations, any occasion or any reason for celebration is gonna typically include a gift. And some of the things that people opt in for the most are gonna be jewelry and watches. Now, the good thing about jewelry and watches is the fact that you have both low ticket and high ticket items. So you have different types of products in a variety of price ranges to be able to cater to absolutely everyone. Some people that don't wanna spend too much on their jewelry or watches, and others who don't mind spending their entire life savings on things like watches. So with that being said, some of the most popular products in this niche are gonna include gold chain necklaces, angel wing necklaces, silver ring sets, silver charms for bracelets, gold and silver hoop earring sets, heart and leather necklaces, smart watches, luxury watches, iced out watches, and fitness watches. Now, quick note, when it comes to smart watches and fitness watches, a lot of the times, especially nowadays, they're kind of the same thing. So at the end of the day, it's really gonna be how you market it. So you can say that one watch is more for fitness while the other one is just gonna be more of your typical smartwatch. But at the end of the day, for the most part, a lot of the times they have the same features because they're both gonna be running on most likely the same version of Android. This niche that's next at number 10 is one that is consistently replenished. So in the office space niche, there's gonna be a lot of products that people consistently use and throw away and then repurchase again. Not only that, but offices are always being updated and they're always being renovated. So even if you're offering certain things like let's say office chairs, there's always gonna be the opportunity to resell more of those even to the same customers. So taking that into consideration, some of the best products that you can offer in this niche are gonna include things like an automatic pencil sharpener, round pencil cases, metal single hole punchers, desk pen holders, legal notepads, hanging file organizers, sticky notes, under desk storage drawers, and correction tape or whiteout. Next up, we have the home improvement and tools niche. Now in the last few years, everyone has been wanting to do things themselves. DIY is what everyone is doing simply because they need to save some money. Everything right now is extremely expensive. Inflation is not showing any signs of slowing down. So DIY is one of the biggest niches at the moment. And honestly, there's no signs of slowing down. As inflation increases, so is DIY. So some of the best products that you can offer people that like to do things themselves are gonna include brass melt inserts, cabinet wall stickers, rotating kitchen faucets, wire connectors, cordless power drills, matte black front door handles, bathroom light fixtures, outlet shelf wall holders, mop and broom holders, and door stoppers. Next up, we have another tech-based niche that is consistently growing, and that's gonna be consumer electronics. Now, consumer electronics, just like the phone case niche, each and every year has new products coming in with one or two new features. Every single year, there's gonna be some sort of new technology. So every single year, there's gonna be new products that you can offer. Now, just to put things into perspective, Consumer electronics as a whole takes up about 22% in total sales in e-commerce overall. So in every single niche, consumer electronics is gonna be taking up over 22%. That's enormous. 
And that was back in 2020. Every single year, it just keeps growing more and more. Now, another good thing about this niche is the fact that when it comes to presents, everyone loves consumer electronics. Everyone loves some new flashy products. Now, some of the most popular products that you can offer in this niche that again, are always being revamped for one are going to include Bluetooth speakers Two, you have portable and waterproof Bluetooth speakers, adjustable VR headsets. VR is what's in right now. And everyone loves virtual reality, rotating, spinning photo booths. I don't know if you've seen those videos of people where they're standing in the center of a little photo booth and they just have that camera that goes around them. That's what this is. Universal AC controllers, just in case somebody loses the remote control for their AC unit, selfie ring lights, waterproof action cameras, wireless Bluetooth receivers, LED video light cameras and wireless gaming headsets. Now to go along with those wireless gaming headsets, a few products that you can offer as bundles would be things like a wireless gaming keyboard or a wireless gaming mouse or all of them together. At number 13, we have toys and baby products. I've said this before, and the baby niche is one that is never going to be slowing down. People pop babies out left and right. So it's only natural that the industry itself is just going to keep growing. By 2025, the industry is expected to hit about $137 billion. Now, one thing that you need to note when it comes to this particular niche is that you need to make sure it's imperative that you offer high quality products, especially for kids and for babies. Keep one thing in mind. Parents do not mind spending a pretty penny when it comes to their kids' comfort and overall well-being. So they're not going to mind spending the money in order to ensure that their kids are safe and healthy. And that includes having baby safe products or baby grade safe materials. Now, some of the best products that you can drop ship are going to include outdoor soft bubble balls, rattle toys, bubble lawnmowers, electric bumper cars, swimming bath turtles, suction cup spinner toys, no touch thermometers, glow in the dark sticks and pool basketball hoops. Also, another very important thing that you need to take into consideration when you're offering kids products or baby products is going to be to not offer anything that can potentially pose as a choking hazard. Remember, kids will put anything in their mouths. So if it's small enough to be able to fit in a baby's mouth and even worse for them to choke on it, don't offer that. Next up, we have the fitness and gym niche. Ever since 2020, the fitness and gym niche has just been absolutely exploding. Up until then, there was also some pretty steady growth. But ever since after that, after the whole pandemic hit, it has just been absolutely exploding. And because of that, everyone is trying to get into it, but everyone's selling the same exact product. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you stand out. You want to make sure that you sell those same products, but you also want to make sure that you can offer some variations that other people are not offering. I've seen this time and time again. People offer one particular product, but they won't offer the different variations that come along with it. Why? I don't know, but they're losing out on money. So in your case, you're not going to be doing that. You're going to go ahead and offer any possible variation that you can find, especially the ones that are pretty unique. Now, some of those products that you're going to be looking for these different variations for are going to include things like mini steppers with resistance bands, skipping or jump ropes. Now, when it comes to jump ropes, I'm just going to give you one quick tip. As far as the different types of variations, they actually have wireless jump ropes and some that are weighted. So there are different variations that you can offer some unique ones. But aside from that, you also have resistance band sets, non-slip yoga mats, indoor fitness trampolines, heavy grips, wrist trainers, electric muscle stimulators, weighted jump ropes, like I mentioned earlier, a few different variations and home treadmills. Now, when it comes to home treadmills, they have some new variations that I've seen coming out that are fully compact so they can fold and you can put them literally under your couch or even under your bed. Next up, we have outdoor and entertainment. Now, similar to our previous niche, Ever since the pandemic, this is one that has just been absolutely exploding. People were cooped up for so long that all they want to do is get out now. Now, as far as the market value, by 2025, it's expected to hit over $100.80 billion. So again, there's nowhere to go but up. Now, for this niche, some of those popular products are going to include things like outdoor table tennis with a net, backyard lawn bowling sets, monkey bars climbing towers, putter golf sets, ultralight trekking poles, three-person backpacking tents, waterproof camping sleeping bags, backyard zipline kits, volleyball nets, and giant yard pong game sets. Next up, we have a niche that's similar to the baby niche, but not 100%. The reason I say this is because when it comes to pets, people absolutely adore their pets just as much as people love their kids. So the same way that people don't mind spending a pretty penny to ensure their kids' comfort, they don't mind spending a pretty penny to ensure their pet's comfort. Now, there's two animals in the pet's niche that reign supreme. These are going to be the most profitable ones with the most variety of products as well. And that's going to be dogs and cats. But that's not to say that you shouldn't offer any other products in the pet's niche for other types of pets, 
like reptiles or birds. So some of the most profitable products in this niche are gonna include waterproof PP pads, reusable pet hair removers, dog poop pads, dog car seat covers, round pet beds, portable play pens, dog water bottles, dog training crates, dog carrier backpacks, and dog chewing toys. Now, quick tip for the chewing toys, make sure you offer different types of durabilities. So smaller dogs aren't gonna be as strong as bigger dogs, right? So the smaller dogs you can offer any toy for, it's not gonna be a big deal. It's gonna take them a while to break it. But when it comes to the bigger dogs, some of them, they're aggressive chewers. So they'll break everything almost instantly, or at least in the first day. So try to offer different levels of durability to try to cater to people with bigger dogs. And I'm talking about personal experience here because my dog literally breaks everything within one day. So I always have to buy new toys and I'm always looking for that one toy that's not gonna break. And I have yet to find it. At number 17, we have home security. Now, what more can you ask for than to feel secure at your own home? And to do this, there's a few different products that you can offer. A lot of these products every year get a refresh, but some of these products also gain a few different types of accessories that you can add on to them. Home security, honestly, right now is probably as big as it's ever been, and it's only gonna get even bigger, simply because people wanna feel secure in their own homes. With everything that's going on in the entire world, right now is not really the time that you wanna feel insecure really anywhere. And these products really give that peace of mind and that comfort to anybody that's at their house or their apartment or wherever it is that they live. Now, some of the best products that you can offer in this niche are going to include outdoor motion sensors. So if somebody's walking outside in your front door, you're going to be able to know that there's somebody there. Wireless outdoor security cameras. Everyone has one at this point. It's pretty much just an upgraded doorbell where you can see who's in front of your house. It's great. Sliding window locks, smart video doorbells, night vision baby monitors, now the night vision baby monitor is one that you can cross niche as well. So while you can offer it in the home security niche, you can also offer it of course in the baby niche. And you can even offer it in the pet niche because a lot of people like to keep an eye on their pets when they're away from their house or when they're away from their home. Now for this, you are gonna have to offer a different variation for it. So one that can connect through, let's say a mobile app. But aside from that, you also have door security bars, multi-piece home security systems, Wi-Fi door alarms, smart lock kits, and DVR systems. At number 18, we have car accessories. Now, when it comes to car accessories, people like to purchase a lot for their cars, especially if they're car enthusiasts. Now, when somebody gets a new car, the first thing they like to do is try to add a few different things in it to make it a bit more personal and a bit more comfortable. It doesn't necessarily have to be a new car. It can be a new car for that person. So, you know, you can buy a used car and to you it's new, but it's plain, it's bare. It's like every other car. So a lot of people like to put their own little twist on it and add a few things here and there that will really make it theirs. Now, one of the good things about the automotive niche is that it's a pretty high ticket niche depending on the items that you're selling. Now, some of those different items that you can offer are gonna include things like a rear and a front camera system, car seat headrest hooks, LED app controlled interior lights, car cleaning gels, phone holder mounts. Now, when it comes to the phone holder mounts, there's a ton of different types of mounts, like windshield mounts, AC mounts, CD mounts. So try to offer all of the different variations that you can. You also have USB car chargers, car cup coasters, car seat gap fillers. These are pretty cool because it prevents anything from falling in between your seats and car trash cans. Next up at 19, we have the party supplies niche. Now the party supplies niche is awesome because like I said, when it comes to jewelry, there's a reason to celebrate for almost anything. So you can celebrate Christmas, you can celebrate Hanukkah, you can celebrate Halloween, you can celebrate birthdays, you have Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduations, any type of ceremony, graduations, literally anything can call for a celebration. And for those celebrations, you're gonna need different types of party supplies. Some of the most in-demand party supplies items are gonna include photo booth props because like I said earlier, everyone likes to take pictures, especially in the age of social media. You also have cake decorations, bundled theme sets. So different sets with different themes in particular, like let's say race cars, maybe roller coasters, video games or princesses, balloons and garlands, holiday specific decorations like Halloween, Christmas, or Hanukkah, confetti and glitter, and disposable dinnerware sets. Disposable dinnerware sets has to be my absolute favorite because cleaning up after a party is hard enough. You do not wanna add having to wash dishes as well. And last but not least, at number 20, we have sustainable products. So this day and age, the entire world is all about sustainability and essentially keeping the earth clean, which for good reason, if you wanna be around for another two or 300 years, you gotta keep the earth clean, right? We need to be using sustainable products. 
Now, the cool thing about sustainable products is that this is actually a niche that has been starting to rise in the last couple of years. So it's one that's just starting to pick up traction. Now, some of the different products you can offer in here are going to be things like biodegradable utensils, recycled fabric cloths, reusable grocery bags, reusable water bottles, laundry detergent sheets, recyclable toilet tissue, which I, I'll, I'll stick to the disposable ones on that one, but there's a niche out there for them. There's people that use them. Eco-friendly decking and LED light bulbs. Now, in all of these different niches, there are a few things that you shouldn't be dropshipping. And these different types of products can potentially get your store banned or just get you completely shut down overall. And it might even land you in some legal trouble. So just as a quick tip, a few things that you shouldn't dropship are gonna include things like copyright material. So anything that's already an existing brand or has already a trademark. Also any hazardous material. So anything that can cause harm to anybody, anything that can also be seen as a choking hazard. That is also a big no, no, especially if you're selling in the baby niche and any product that can just generally be seen as dangerous. So any type of weapon. Now that was a pretty massive list of products, wasn't it? So if you do wanna import some of these different products into your store, chances are you're probably saving every single image and you're copying over all of the descriptions and all the titles and the variations. And if you're only doing maybe two or three products, then it might not be that big of a deal. But if you wanna import more, let's say if you wanna import an entire niche, it's probably gonna take you some time. Chances are you're probably gonna be in front of your computer doing the same thing over and over for a couple hours on end. And that's valuable time that you can use to be spending on more efficient product research bringing in more products into your store. So let me show you one of the easiest ways to be able to expedite your product importing. Now for this, you are gonna need an account with AutoDS. If you do wanna get started with AutoDS, or if you're not sure if you wanna get started with us and you just kinda wanna test out the waters, then you can check out our trial period right now for just $1 for the next two weeks. Now, once you have that set up and you're signed on, the first thing you're gonna have to do is go to add a product. So once we click on add a product, we can choose either single or multiple. These are gonna be the ones that we use the most. Now I like going with multiple, especially if we're doing something like what we did right now, going through an entire list and we wanna start adding different products. Now let's run over to AliExpress really fast. And let's say I wanna get into the baby niche and I wanna add a book bag or a baby diaper bag. So we can go ahead and find our product take that link and then paste it over here, press enter, and then we can keep on looking for different products. So I found this teether as well. Now I wanna add this one to my store too. So I'm gonna take that link as well and paste it right under. Any other links that we wanna add or any other products that we wanna add, we just repeat the same process. Press enter and then paste in the link. Now, once we have this ready, we can go ahead and click on add as draft to import these products. Now, if we don't wanna do this, there's a few other options as well. So you can upload through a CSV file where you can just add everything to a spreadsheet, upload that spreadsheet, and then everything's gonna be automatically added for you. And then the other option is the AutoDS Finder. Here, AutoDS is gonna choose the products for you and automatically import them to your store. Now, once you have those products added and added to your draft section, what you have to do is simply click on the draft section over here. And once in the draft section, you're gonna see the products that you added on here. So now let's go ahead and click to edit really fast. And this is where you can optimize pretty much anything from the listing itself. So you can optimize your title, you can add it to any collections if you're selling on Shopify, you can add any tags to be able to track the different analytics. You can also do the same thing with the description. You can edit your description directly from this page. And best part is for both your titles and description, you can actually optimize it with AI. Then you have your different variations. Here you can go ahead and select everything click on edit and then bulk action everything. So you can set your pricing based off of a variety of factors for everything at once. So your fee percentage, how much do you want AutoDS to take into consideration for your fees? Let's say I have a 5% fee. Then our default quantity, I leave that blank. I let AutoDS take care of that for me. Our profit dollar amount. So do we wanna make a certain dollar profit or do we wanna make a certain percentage profit? Or do we wanna do both? I typically go with percentage. So let's go with something like, let's say 50%. And then if we wanna just simply set a sell price. So do you want every single product on here to sell for $19.99? That's not very optimal unless every product on there is the exact same thing with just a difference in let's say colors. But here what's gonna happen is that AutoDS is gonna set our prices accordingly. So it's gonna take 5% of fees into consideration along with our 55% profit. So in total, it's gonna increase all of our prices by 55% once we click on update. Now let's click onto any one of these. Let's click onto the first one. And then we can see that our buy price is $2.46. We're taking into consideration our 5% fees, also our 50% in profit that we wanna take. It also added a 30 cent profit margin. So it's gonna add another 30 cents on top of that. Typically, this is something that Shopify charges per credit card transaction. It's like 20 cents. 
So overall, our sell price in this case is going to be four dollars and twenty cents, and our profit is going to be a dollar fifty three. Now we can increase that a little bit. So maybe let's go for 100% profit, but we still keep our 5% in fees. So at the end of the day, it's going to be 105% plus our 30 cents. Now our sell price is going to be 549. And you can see that our total profit is 276. Of course, that profit does not include this fee. This fee is not going to be taken into consideration as our profit because this is going to go away to whatever it is that we have to pay this fee for, whether that be a payment processor or anything else. Once we're ready, we just click on save or exit out. And then we can check out the different images. Here we can go ahead and add, delete, or even edit images because we have a built-in image editor. And once you're ready for this listing to go live on your store and have people start making purchases, just click on save and import. And within minutes, it'll be ready for people to purchase. And those were the top 20 niches that you need to be drop shipping right now. Remember, if you want access to the cheat sheet, all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below the hashtag drop shipping and let me know which one of these niches was your favorite and which one you plan on offering in your store. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. If you made it this far, please make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. My name is Mario with AutoDS. Wish you all nothing but the best in your dropshipping stores, and I'll catch you all next time.